Hello, today we're talking to you about Marvin Keller Trucking and how we put together a strategic analysis plan for them to potentially input into their market segment. So Marvin Keller Trucking is a trucking company founded in 1965 by Marvin Keller and Bethany, Illinois. He started the company by driving his own truck and with the help from his wife to help find and broker loads. Um, he did this for several years and eventually hired driving associates and then eventually purchased his own office building in 1983, where he ultimately retired at in 1999 and left the company to his son, Joe, who still now operates and owns the company and has grown it to over 160 employees, 130 drivers, and 75 owner operators. Marvin Keller is a company that doesn't want to just have a customer business relationship with its customers. They want to build an actual relationship with its clients and focus on a family relationship. They understand the commitment and trust their customers put in them. Uh, there is We have a large social media presence with 10,000 followers on Facebook. Although we're based in Illinois, they have expanded their, their presence throughout the United States nationwide. For external analysis, 65% of the United States consumable goods are truck to market, showing an obvious need for truckers. The ATA reports an average of 10 billion tons of freight hauled annually, showing an ever-booming truck trucking industry. And there's an average of 700 billion in annual revenue from trucking. So the strategy that in segments that we decided on for Marvin Keller is where they we for them to utilize the Ford integration um, over the next three years, they are going to need to um, basically get into the supplier shipping portion of the supply chain, which is going to give them a either owning a larger portion or gaining a larger portion of the control over that portion of the supply chain. And to do this, Marvin Keller is going to be uh, contacting the intermediate goods supplier of their existing contractees. And with the current profit per mile of trucking companies in 2023 being approximately 80% per mile, it's a very um, it's, it's a very good opportunity for Marvin Keller to get into that part of the supply chain, which is going to increase productivity and overall profits for Marvin Keller. Not like any other business, owning a trucking company comes with a fair share of legal risks. Sufficient driver licensing is needed with a different license that may apply to different roads, cities, counties, and states. Truckers run a greater risk of having an accident because they often carry a heavy freight that decreases stop time with their brakes. Because of the freight being hauled and the weight of the a vehicle involved, there is a greater risk of the accident being more expensive as well. Liability is a big issue in the trucking industry in the event of stolen goods, accidents, as well as associated drivers hauling illegal goods. So this is the organizational structure of Marvin Keller Trucking. At the top, you're going to have the president and CEO, Joe Keller, which is the son of Marvin Keller and took over the company back in 1999. Uh, joining him is going to be his friend that he uh, that helped him throughout that time. Uh, the COO is Rick Ellis. You're going to have Amanda McKee as the VP of Human Resources and Safety. Tiffany Heinbaugh as the marketing and sales vice president with Tatum Ellis helping her as the marketing and communication specialist. The fleet manager being Travis Bartles and the driver managers, Andrew Ramsey, Tom Scheiber and Nick Manenfior. As for marketing, Marvin Keller provides services transporting freight for all over the country and which focuses primarily in the Midwest, but they want to, people to know that they do a good job of that. So doing so, they social they use social media as a platform to really spread their message about their culture and what they have to offer at Marvin Keller. Tatum Ellis heads this department as the marketing and communications specialist, and they're advertising the company's culture and showing it as a desirable place to work. As for the competitors, uh, Marvin Keller is a trucking company and hauling freight is a very big business in America. Um, competitors range from large size companies such as Knight Swift Transportation and TFI International. A lot of these companies have employees of two 20,000 trucks, whereas smaller companies such as tr Keller Trucking uh, is a, a closer competitor and relative market cap size. 
uh, to Marvin Keller. But overall, there there's a lot of truckers, a lot of drivers um, in the economy. So this drives prices down, which increases incentive to differentiate your service, your product. Um, so Marvin Keller really tries to market their their uh, their culture and how they stand out as a company. Um, with any implementation strategy, as we have ours for our strategic plan for Marvin Keller, um, any strategy, uh, the key to it is for everyone's willingness and dedication to implement it, to want to change. So for Marvin Keller um, to implement these decisions, they it needs to start at the top and work its way down. So it's a family company. They have a lot of incentive to dedicate an extraordinary effort into and to their programs. So the goal for Marvin Keller Trucking as a company is to gain a larger share of the supplier shipping portion of the supply chain using that Ford integration that we had talked about. By focusing on this segment, Marvin Keller will be able to gain more competitive control over the supply chain. And with the constant changes possible in the trucking industry, it's important for companies like Marvin Keller to improve and capitalize on their business potential. Now, using this forward integration method of gaining shipping contracts to suppliers, Marvin Keller will have new and more opportunities for growth in the next three years.